Hey everyone and to all of my Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts and to all of my totally awesome walking dudes and dudettes. It's your girl Claire here again, back with a new video on my totally awesome channel. So, yeah. Another one, I'm just going to make the latest UK Navy who have been changing to COVID-19 restrictions. So guys, the latest news have also now been relaxed across the UK. Class bubbles and schools come to an end, but close primary students should still wear face coverings for the first six weeks of the term. And the number of people can meet in private gardens, the rule of six is lifted in pubs, restaurants, and wedding receptions, conference halls and exhibitions can be open. Further education and higher education and night classes can return to school in person only. Support bubbles will no longer exist. Other restrictions remain in place, social distancing is at least only one metre. Continues for many indoor activities. A maximum of 10 people from three households can meet indoors. In private dwellings, face coverings are mandatory in public transport and shops, unless a few exempt people are still advised to work from home. Of course, the nightclubs cannot open. No limits on how many people can meet. One metre plus guidance for me. Face coverings no longer required by law. Nightclubs can be open. Pubs and restaurants no longer table service only. No limits on guests at wedding funerals. No limits on people attending concerts, theatres, or sports events. Under 18 has been fully vaccinated adults no longer have to self isolate. People should continue to meet others outside if possible. Businesses such as night clubs are encouraged to use NHS COVID pass. They don't have to legally do so, however. No physical distancing rules. No limits on the size of social gatherings. All venues and businesses can open. Face covering is compulsory for some time. Restrictions remain in schools for the first six weeks of the new term. No legal limits on the number of people who can meet indoors. And then to form social distancing rules, all businesses can open. And then to self isolation for fully vaccinated adults. People are asked to work from home whenever possible. And risk assessment outside of social distancing is needed. The face covering will remain compulsory, meaning indoor spaces. Anyone who has COVID symptoms must self isolate. Fully vaccinated close contact people no longer need to self isolate. People can now sit together. Class bubbles no longer be required from the start of the term. Class masks need to self isolate. This can stop on that date but only if they've been fully vaccinated. The limit of numbers of people allowed to meet outdoors and private gardens will be removed. Casing will be able to attend before in person learning, so called support bubbles no longer exist. Rule of six will be scrapped. Requirements to maintain social distancing will be lifted. Conferences will be allowed to resume. Outdoor waves will now be allowed. Indoor premises are still required to comply with social distancing rules at least a meter or three feet apart. Saturday almost everything up to the full clock down. Saturday. No limits on numbers that can meet indoors. Only businesses can be open. Clubs and all can supply table service only. Time to sleep to reach the last or the main meter days of the morning. You must continue to wear them. Don't have to not to wear face coverings, but we'll join all people to maintain the physical distances from teacher and staff. It means that far fewer people have to quarantine if they're being in close contact with someone with COVID. In August, fully vaccinated adults in the UK no longer have to self isolate if they've been told in close contact with the person who has it. Are not able to get vaccinated 
the medical reason. Well, in the middle of the self isolation period, he did not have to continue. He is not legal device to affect the measures like not wearing face coverings, like not to visit hospital for 10 days, because of COVID 19, because not being fully vaccinated. His eyes got not obligated to self isolate. Staying at home and not going out for any reason, keeping your distance from other members. All legal restrictions have been lifted on the number of people you can meet. Limits no longer apply. Most rules on social distancing and limits to gathering have now been lifted. Then it's still required in healthcare settings. Face coverings are still compulsory in most public indoor settings, such as shops and public transport. In schools, at least the first six weeks of term, staff will still be required to keep at least one meter apart from each other and children. Then the social distancing rules came to an end on the 7th of August. No limits of people who can meet indoors or outdoors. Face coverings are non-compulsory. In indoor places, bonnet and fobs or restaurants will no longer be recommended for use in classrooms from September after the end of summer holidays. In indoor settings, such as restaurants, Social distancing within one meter is still required. Social distancing is not now required for any outdoor activity. Outdoor. However, it's recommended that people keep one meter from people not in their household. Ten people from three households can now meet inside a private home. Face coverings must still be worn unless you feel exempt. But yeah. Hope you guys had a pretty good weekend. I did. And. What did I do this weekend? Oh, the weekend has just gone in a minute. Right, what did I do in the weekend? The weekend has just gone. I didn't do much on didn't do much on Saturday. Just chill out. Yesterday, Sunday, I went out for Sunday lunch at at Coach, which is like a posh fine dining restaurant in Muswell Hill. So that was nice. And today, just chilled out. Um, had KFC. For lunch and I um, had Cecilia's for dinner, like takeaway, and that was really nice. I had um prawn, Tiger King prawns with rice, and it was so good, honestly. So yeah, I'm glad that we don't have to self-isolate if we're like double vaccinated, which I will be. This weekend coming, I will be double vaccinated and I will have to self-isolate. Because, yeah. And also I was talking to Danny on WhatsApp and... Facebook Messenger, so, yeah, and I found out some even more things about him that he, like, he auditioned for, what was it, X Factor, but in Scott Talent, and I did not know that, like, back in 2010, so, yeah, that was really interesting to know, and he likes playing with, like, video games, a lot, so, yeah. I'm glad to meet him. I'm excited to meet him at New Horizons on the 3rd of September. So, I didn't know that you're listening to that. I was like, wow. And I hope that his show is coming along really well. And also, I found out that, like, in his, like, when he's, like, doing, like, his, like, Zoom thing, like, the Pizza Reunion, he did, like, the Shakespeare monologue that he was going to do for like the Queen's Got Talent thing. And I haven't put it up on YouTube yet, but I'm hoping they will so I can like watch it. So yeah. I think that was everything I wanted to say, so I think I ended oh, And he was talking about like funny moments that he had on Zoom because they're using that like less and less now. Zoom and he's like missing it. And I, and I miss it too, using Zoom and we all have funny moments. And there were like some people that he really didn't want to meet 
I was in person on Zoom and he was like spending his weekend with the family so that's good so I think I'll end the video now because I'm just rambling for like 10 minutes so if you like what you see please feel free to leave a like comment down below share this video and also subscribe because every subscriber helps and it really counts so peace out to all of my girl scouts and boy scouts and also walk on you totally awesome walking dudes and dudettes and remember to always stay yourself and be yourself peace